and welcome to a brand new episode of Instacart HK. Today, we're reviewing this 1989 Porsche 911 by Theon Design. Like other names you will have heard of before, like Singer, Kager, or Gunther Works, Theon Design is a British resto mod company that focuses specifically on the Porsche 911. Founded by Englishman Adrian Holly, who actually has quite a technical background. He used to be a designer for 15 plus years before founding the Theon Design Company and had stints in the auto industry, including Lotus and Jaguar, and also the aero industry, including involvement in the Airbus A380s. So this guy actually really knows his stuff. Like other 911 resto mod projects, uh, Theon tries to enhance the uh, performance, engine performance, uh, tries to modernize the driving experience of the car, including in-car entertainment, and most importantly, I think, to reduce the weight of the original 911. Now, the car we have here today is actually based on the 964 Carrera. Like Singer, Theon Design only mods the 964. But as you can see from the uh, exterior, uh, it has been backdated to the 70s 9 911s, including this extended long bonnet, which extends all the way to the end. Front and rear tracks have been widened, including a wide rear body. Uh, there's this beautiful ducktail here, which comes up automatically at certain speeds or manually. And there are also you know, other cute quirks, including this third hidden brake light, which is really hidden inside here, uh, and the rear fog lights, which is right above the exhaust, um, push wheels, etc. Now, power unit. The original 964 has a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated flat six engine. Theon actually offers a few variations of their engines, including a 3.8 liter, a 4.0 liter, and I heard they're working on a supercharged version as well. The car we have here today, however, has the 3.8 liter naturally aspirated engine, uh, producing about 375 horsepower. Uh, Theon does that by, obviously, the increased uh, engine capacity, there are larger valves, individual throttle bodies, larger fuel injectors, different exhaust system, etc. Now, like other rest of mod companies, the engine power is one thing, but the presentation of the engine is another. So if you can see here, the engine is really beautifully uh, presented, including a lot of carbon fiber, it's surrounded by this leather surrounding, and these beautiful velocity stack intakes, which makes this car sounds pretty good, and obviously delivers power very smoothly. Now, handling. The Theon uses a fully adjustable KW suspension. Uh, this one also has the hydraulic lifting system at the front, which is very, very useful uh, for car, uh, cities like Hong Kong. So it's time to go for a drive in this Theon design car. I'm really grateful for the opportunity because this is a still a, quite a rare car. Theon is quite a new company. I think mean, we're very lucky um, to live in Hong Kong where we're such a small city, but we have a disproportionate amount of retro modern 911s. We have lots of singers. We have one of the earliest Kager customer cars. This car is also one of the earliest um, customer cars of Theon Design. It's the first Hong Kong car. Uh, there's a second one, there's a third one coming but um, it's actually the second ever customer car by Theon Design. So it's, it's, you know, it's just amazing how such a small city with all these very cool cars. So first of all, interior, obviously all new leather, lots of carbon fiber. A lot of these panels are actually made in carbon fiber. This car came suspect with this very nice burgundy interior color, which goes very well with the exterior slate gray color. Uh, as mentioned, there are some creature comforts that, that are introduced in this car, including a brand new electric AC unit, which actually came from the Cayman. So even though it's not original to the 964, it's still a original Porsche part. Um, the dials are all new, Theon tailor-made dials. Uh, the head unit is um, it looks retro, but it has you know your Bluetooth, iPhone Connect, everything. And one very cool thing, which I'll definitely try later, is this um, sport exhaust button, which is exactly what you find in modern Porsches, but it's now in this very retro button, which you turn to to have the louder exhaust noise. But anyway, um, a very good place to be in. So time to start the car. You hear this very cool whine when you turn the key. That's the fuel pump. Okay, all right. Fires up right away. Very 
got a very deep rumble. Um, immediately, you know this is not your normal 964 uh, engine. All right, the mirror is looking good. The, the 991 Speedster inspired mirrors. Uh, it's a five-speed gearbox from the 993. And let's go. Clutch is a little heavy. Let's go. This is really my first time driving, so I'm gonna uh, take it easy. Well, the pedals are, uh, are quite heavy. Um, the, including the gas pedal is a bit uh, hard. The clutch is heavy, but you know, not you know, not hard to maneuver. I, I didn't stall or anything. But I can imagine in traffic, this clutch you know, may need to exercise your left leg a bit. Uh, as expected, you know, in an old. 911, the size is very good, the visibility is very good. You got this obviously changed steering wheel, which is a very good size. Very firm pedals, that's something you notice immediately, especially the gas pedal. Very firm. It sounds nice. Gear shift is precise, short and precise. Nothing of expectation. And in this bumpy, slow speed road, it's the car is quite firm and bumpy. The, the suspension, but let's see how it goes at speed. in the cabin. I didn't expect that because when, when the owner arrived from the exterior it wasn't that loud. Also the just now I was going at second gear. Uh, the, the, the low end range uh, revs the car was okay it was normal but once it hit 4000 it flies. It's as if it has a turbo when obviously it's uh, naturally aspirated. That's quite interesting. solid in the interior which is what you expect your know, for a car that has had its exterior and interior completely redone all right let's go see low end it takes a bit of time to go about once past three thousand four thousand flies so you have to keep the revs a bit high in this car i realize Handling is very good. The steering is very precise and good. In one of the interviews with uh, Adam Howley online, he made it clear that unlike Singer, Theon design uh, does not intend to redefine or reimagine the Porsche 911 because they think the car is already very good, but more like to, to refine it, to make it better, uh, to modernize it a bit. And you can feel it. I mean, this car with its heavy pedals and, and the uh, engine rev range and whatnot, it does give you more of that classic car feel. It's not as modernized as the, the Singer. You still have that sort of, um, in, for lack of a better word, inefficiency. It's not the car, but that's you know, the, the, the classic element of it. Very good brake. 
brakes. Very balanced car. You don't feel, you know, any wobbling. The suspension is very good, very good. Very balanced. This is a very fun car. Okay, wow, that was quite a thrilling drive. And I meant it when I said, I, I, I you know, the when a Adam Hawley said in an interview that they refined the 964 as opposed to redefining it, I, I can really connect with that because the car, it does have, you know, as fast, as sophisticated, it handles very well, but it really does continue to have that classic car um, character compared to the Singer. The Singer is has this classic element and the modernization, but this has more of the classic element. Either way, both very different cars. I don't think you can go wrong with either, um, but if you want to, to buy one, uh, first of all, it now costs about 400,000 pounds, not including the donor car to get one. And it takes about two years from start to finish. So for anyone interested, um, you need to get your bank account ready and you need to be patient. Uh, this car was actually lent by us by the Hong Kong importer, um, uh, Car uh, Carrera Classics, which is the sole agent for the um, Theon Design Porsche in Hong Kong. And I just want to thank the, the agent again for letting us try this car. It's an amazing car. HK001, guys. This is the first Theon car for Hong Kong. And it's just bloody brilliant. If you like this video as much as I like this car, please give us a like and subscribe. Please remember to click the bell button next to the subscribe button so you know when our next video is coming, which will be soon. Thank you.